Okay, this should be fun. What I'm attempting to do here is I'm attempting to record a video of me recording a video. So what I want to do here is I'm using ScreenFlow to show you how I do the recording of the QuickTime screen recording as part of Snow Leopard that shows you how to um, share podcasts and whatnot um, on Facebook and Twitter inside of iTunes. So you'll notice we are inside of iTunes right now. Now I'm going to pick QuickTime Player. And inside of QuickTime Player, there's an option here for File, New Screen Recording. Screen Recording pops up. You can, t you can tell it's, it, it's pretty simple. The microphone, I'm going to do the Adderall. And the quality on that is pretty high. And you can see that that's going pretty well. Looks like it's going in stereo, so that's great. I'm going to start the screen recording now. Okay, are you sure you want to start recording the screen? The window will be hidden during the recording. Um, let's see, clicking stop on the menu bar. Um, show me or command control escape. So I think that's what I will probably do um, on that. And we'll, we'll trim that, so that's not such a big deal. Uh, actually, actually, I'll show you the trimming. So... Um, Let's see what that menu bar thing is like. Oh, look at that. It'll be up at the menu bar. Um, look at that. Pretty nice. Okay, let's start recording. Now, what we have here is we have um, the new iTunes, and it looks great. And uh, we'll go full screen here. And inside of iTunes, I'm going to take a look up for Internet Marketing This Week, my favorite podcast. Here's Internet Marketing This Week. We go ahead and click on there. You can see it's the traditional page. But if you notice here, inside of Internet Marketing this week, you have two options now. Um, you can subscribe, which, of course, I would recommend that you do. But in addition to subscribing, if you do the drop-down menu, you can notice that we've got Tell a Friend, Copy the Link. We've also got Share on Facebook and Share on Twitter. iTunes has now got very social, and we here support that tremendously. Let me show you what both of these look like. When you click Share on Facebook, um, it boots up a web page with basically you know the Post 2 profile. Um, you have to be logged into Facebook for this to work. And, um, you, you know, this is my favorite podcast, of course. And if we were to do the iTunes store, you know, we would have to do something like uh, Internet Marketing This Week Podcast. Spell that right. And um, iTunes store. And then once, once we share, um, maybe I do something like... Uh, direct link to the iTunes store. Go ahead and share that. That'll go on your personal profile. If we go back here and you'll notice we take a look at um, the Twitter option, share on Twitter. It will go to Twitter. Again, you need to be logged on and it produces just a very simple uh, link to everything. And I will update that as well. That'll be the second time that goes up, but I want you to see how easy that is. So now Colligan has the podcast partnership, Internet Marketing This Week, with the link, and that goes to iTunes. Um, you can tell that, that Apple is attempting, hoping to get some uh, pretty good status inside of Twitter and whatnot. Not a bad idea. So sharing is inside of Facebook. Um, sharing inside of iTunes is there for Facebook. It's there for Twitter. It's built in. It's easy. Um, go ahead and recommend your favorite podcast today. All right, so now what we're looking at here is this is the recording that, that happened, um, you know, of what, what we did here. So we're going to decrease the size a little bit so that we can see how this happens. And now we're going to um, trim the podcast, which is edit, and we're going to trim. And we're going to trim, you know, here, you know, let's see how that, um, next I'm going to get rid of this, there we go, so you guys can hear that, I'm going to go right here to figure out where the best place to trim was, Oops, we definitely don't want to trim there. Let's see now how the trimming worked. Beautiful. So I trim it um, from the beginning. Was it okay from the beginning? Let's find out. Oh, lots of places we can trim to here. Let's go back. 
So we've set that up and we're going to trim that accordingly. And now it has been trimmed to um, just what we wanted to show. So we'll go back to the beginning now. You guys remember that part? And we have this part here. Beautiful, nice, clean, and easy. So then we're going to take this and we're going to go to YouTube. And we're going to give you the YouTube name and password. Might as well remember that on the keychain. And um, I knew that would happen. Um, I've got that. There we go. Beautiful. Um, that's an old account. So we're going to go to, uh, let's see, how to install. Title screen recording. How to share podcasts. How to share podcasts from iTunes. In Twitter, how to share, here we go, share your favorite podcasts to Twitter and Facebook with the new iTunes description. Paul Culligan shows how to share uh, podcasts to both Twitter and Facebook from within the new iTunes. This should work on both the Mac and PC, although it was created on a PC. Tags. Facebook, well, podcast, podcasts, Twitter, Facebook, share on Facebook, iTunes, Paul Colligan. Done. Do a comma there. We click next. Do you have permission? Yes, I have permission. Click share. And now it is exporting this over to iTunes. And um, I won't go through the rest of this because um, you don't need to watch something upload. But that is the process whereby which a screencast is done inside of the new QuickTime, inside of Snow Leopard, and saved with YouTube. As you can tell, it is uh, painstakingly easy and pretty exciting. Does this mean you need to drop ScreenFlow or the new Camtasia or Snaps Pro X or something like that. Don't necessarily think so. You know, as a matter of fact, I made this video inside of uh, ScreenFlow. You can see the icon up there running. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, you know, this is a, a pretty excited screencasting alternative. And as you can tell, you know, I use nothing other than Snow Leopard, which is what, 29 bucks? So pretty exciting option. I'm going to stop this video and I'll put this one up at YouTube as well. So thanks everybody. Bye.